on guys, so today we're on my dad's 2019 Harley Lowrider S and this thing is not your standard Harley motorcycle by any means. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't even know what's fully done to this bike, so sorry if I sound a little ignorant on this subject of Harleys because I really don't know too much about this platform. But I think the first thing he did was the Chief Brothers full exhaust system, which sounds pretty nice. So then he did this air intake right here along with a tune, and I think he was making a lot more power and he was pretty happy with it. I know a couple of him and his buddies were going back and forth on who's faster. You know how it is, you're always trying to be the fastest one in the group. And then he decided to put a big cam in the bike, and it sounded absolutely insane. But I think he wanted just a little bit more. So he did the cam, he had the tune, he had the exhaust, and then he decided to go all out and do big pistons, big cams, head work. I don't know exactly what's done to the intake, but I know he has this ported throttle body right here and it sticks out pretty obnoxiously. S1000. Nice little piece of helmet. And I want to say he had something else done to it as well, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So anyways, he had to do the whole engine rebuild. Then he had to do about 600 miles on the bike, I want to say. Just, you know, light break in miles. So then he brought it back to the shop, had it done to tune, had everything gone over. And I think it's making a lot more power now. Because I rode it before, before it got tuned again during the break-in period. The bike felt quick, but he said it's a lot faster now. I've been riding it for about 20 minutes so far and I haven't got on it yet. And there is a cop right behind me, so I'm definitely not going to get on it. Alright, so I'm going to get on it one time for the first time. It revs up 5,000 RPM, so i gotta, I got to be mindful of that because it makes its power pretty instantly. So let's, let's just roll on a third. It's so weird because, okay, I I know it's fast for a Harley, but you gotta consider I was just riding the H2 yesterday. So when you hop off an H2 and you get onto this, it's obviously not gonna feel that fast, but I know what a regular Harley feels like. I'm telling you, this bike is pretty damn fast for being a Harley. Pretty damn fast. Crazy. I was really hoping one of my buddies was gonna be around to see what this does compared to a street bike. I know that this will take on most 600s and of course the 600 will pass me after like 120 but I guarantee I'll, I'll put up a good fight but there has to be someone out today I just got into town this morning to visit family for Christmas and I know it's Christmas Eve day but there has to be someone out there was a couple bikes that I passed by earlier but nothing that's definitely going to be worth a challenge obviously if a leader bike pulls up I would be more than happy to race him as well win or lose it'd be fun to see what the bike's going to do but if I could pull up to like a Dyna or another Harley, ooh man, it's on. It is on. Anything, give me a naked bike. Ooh, new turns are a little, a little scary. And first gear is, is real, real responsive. Gotta get used to that. But this bike is quick. I wish the tack was a little higher though. I mean, obviously it's a Harley, that's what it's meant for. You know, it's supposed to sit there on the tank, I get it, but if they have like a, a different system where it was nice and flush right here with just a little like display RPM gauge, I think that would be awesome. I think you could, you could really, really see what you're doing. I know with the Harley, you're not meant to be revving this bike out and, and watching the RPM gauge, but I think if you're racing bikes like this, it would be really nice to have something a little bit more visible because when you're riding, you're obviously not looking up and down the whole time. Okay, let's let's do a second gear pull right here. Ghost is clear. I like the visibility though. I can turn my head really easily and I have mirrors. That's awesome. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I know there's a cop up there. Not that he's gonna pull me over because he's obviously busy, but I don't need him on the radio saying that there's a Harley with a red, white, and blue helmet speeding down PCH. <laughs> Definitely got some kid riding his motorcycle on the boardwalk. That's a no no, buddy. I need to get in it with someone. I'm not, I gotta be at my aunt's house in a couple hours, but I ain't get off this bike till I find one good race. Something. <laughs> you know what's funny is like, 
this has such a big foot peg, but I'm still riding on the tippy toes because I'm used to it on the sport bike. <laughs> I'm still using my tippy toes, how funny. Uh, sport bike riders. Ah, you think I can catch that guy on the Busa? I'm going for it. I think one's a Busa and one's like a naked bike. Uh, don't turn green. Ah, light turn green. Go that way. Come on. Bailey! It's James! Hold on! Hold on, I'll be back! I'll be back! <laughs> I used to ride with him when I had my R6. How funny. Hold on! I'll be right back! I promised him I'd go back. I'm gonna go back for you, Bailey. Oh, it's a jigster. It's a jigster. Now you're really done for, buddy. Now you're really done for. It was a 600, I don't even care if it's a 1,000, buddy. You're done for, buddy. Come on, buddy. be a world paid for you buddy come on buddy I'm watching on the mirror he's not doing nothing oh, he's turning left come on disappointment dude god Unbelievable. Wasted my damn time, dude. Oh, they're making the U-turn. These freaking nuts. That's risky, but should I turn left? Disappointing. Disappointing. I'm gonna follow them. I'm gonna follow, I don't care. Let's do it. This is perfect. This is a good straightaway. He likes my helmet. You better! It's expensive! I don't think they want it. They're gonna have to find out today though, son. Thank you. Let's see what this holy does compared to a sport bike. Okay, go back. Pull here. Okay. Get him! Get him! Get him! I didn't want to be the last minute breaking. I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Yeah, it's fast for a Harley. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 400cc, right? It's a thousand. Yeah, it's got bigger cams and pistons and all that. Yeah. That's why I wanted to see what it does against a sport bike, you know? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I, I chicken it out. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't want to let it break. <laughs> Ride safe. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's up, you hippie? Yeah, what's up, man? What's going on with you? Damn, dude. Good to see you. You too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's so funny. I haven't talked to him in so long. Well, actually that's wrong. He came home from the Navy and he was driving through the 10 freeway and he stopped by my house in Phoenix and stayed with me for about two days. So that was the last time I saw him. And I think that was, it was a little over a year ago. But even then, before that, as far as riding goes, yeah, I think I last rode with him when I had my R6. We met each other while both riding on uh, PCH right here, actually. And we just pulled over and became good friends. How, how funny. We met right here. 
You and I met right here. Like three years ago. Alright, I'm gonna angle this GoPro so you guys can see a little bit. Just a little pull. Second gear. Roll on to it. I kept going, but I don't know what that car was doing. You never know. Well, boys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. It's always fun to be filming something just a little bit different, always changing things up. I I had a lot of fun riding this bike, and I think I can ride this thing pretty much every day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.